Alright, guys. So. Whew. It's been a long journey to get here. I think we are finally ready for our Elite Four challenge, though. Or at least I'm hoping so. Because this could get really, really rough. Uh, especially depending on what they have. I don't know that we've we've leveled our team enough. We'll go ahead and go over a quick recap real quick. <coughs> Whoops. We've got Airhead, our Sassy, uh, level 50 Drift Blim, with Fly, Shadow Ball, Stockpile, and Baton Pass. It did have uh, Swallow to heal itself, but we got rid of it. I figured we'll just, we'll use Stockpile to uh, boost it up if we need to, and then Baton Pass to something that's just going to murder everything. Um, we've got Dracile, our modest level 50 Blastoise, with Water Pulse, Waterfall, Bite, and Skull Bash. We have the newest member of our team, uh, and I have the video footage, uh, that I'll, I'll put into the episode, but we have Chimera, our hasty level 50 shiny Dodrio, so we got a shiny claws Pokemon right there, uh, at the base of Victory Road, and she's got Drill Peck, Pursuit, Try Attack, and Fly, look at those stats, woo! Then we got Thickums, our lax level 50 Venusaur with Petal Dance, Sleep Powder, Leech Seed, and Razor Leaf. We've got Pure Fire, our hasty level 50 Typhlosion with Strength, Lava Plume, Surf, and Flamethrower. And then we've got our Golem that we still never gave a nickname to, uh, Relaxed level 50 uh, with Cut, Rock Blast, Magnitude, and Earthquake. So we've got a Fire, Grass, Water coverage. We've got Ground Rock. We've got Flying Normal. And we've got Ghost. So we've got... We've got good type coverage. I really wish we had an electric type. Uh, let's let's actually look and let's see if we have any good TMs we can use. Luster Purge is a, a really nice one, actually. <clears throat> um, damn, Drasil's the only one that can learn it, though, and I don't want to teach it to him. Uh, <laughs> we've got two Rock Blasts. Golem already has it, but uh, Chimera could learn it. I don't think there's any point. I d <sighs> All right, let's 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 see if any of them can learn Spark. Chimera can learn Spark. I almost want to give her Spark. Drusil can learn it. Thickums can learn it. I like Thickums' move set. I like Drasil. Well, Drasil has Skull Bash. We can get rid of Skull Bash. Uh, Chimera has Fly, Try Attack, Drill Peck, and what was the other one? What was Chimera's other move? Hold on. Because Chimera Pursuit. I mean, I don't think we need Pursuit. Let's see what else we can get rid of. So I like Airhead the way it is. Water... Drasil has Waterfall. We can get rid of Skull Bash. Um, so Drasil can learn a move. Chimera can learn a move. Thickums... I realize it's all grass, but it's like utility. Like Leech Seed and Sleep Powder go perfect together. We could probably do without Razor Leaf, but I like to use it in, you know, situations where I don't want to use Petal Dance, so I don't get locked into it. Purifier has Strength, unfortunately, we can't do anything about that. Lava Plume, Surf, Flamethrower, and the Golem has Cut, Rock Blast, Magnitude, and Earthquake. I don't want to get rid of any of those either. So Drasil and uh, Chimera are the ones that we can teach moves to. Um, so let's see, Spark, both of them can learn it, I think Chimera would be the better option, Focus Blast, both of them can learn it, in that case Drasil would be the better option, um, Dark Pulse, <clears throat> uh, 
I mean, Dark is good against Ghost and Psychic, but Airhead is Shadow Ball, so we really don't need Dark Pulse. Um, Spore is a much better... <clears throat> Spore is a much better Sleep Powder, isn't it? Because Sleep Powder is 75, and puts him to sleep. Spore is a hundred, so we're gonna get rid of Sleep Powder for Spore. And now we've got a hundred percent accurate Sleep Inducer. Uh, Drill Peck. I kinda wish we could teach it to Airhead, but... She's got Fly, that's alright. Uh, Defend Order. Oh, I really wish we had a Pokemon that could use Defend Order. Drasil can learn it. <sighs> I wish Thickums could learn it. I really wish Thickums could learn it. Golem can learn it too. What if... I don't need Focus Blast. Focus Punch, that's the one that... No, it has to... <laughs> yeah, that's the one that takes two turns. What if we... What if we teach Chimera Spark over Pursuit? Now, what are Blastoise's stats? 117 and 128 for defenses. It has better defenses than Venusaur. Let me actually look that up real quick because... Uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, 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 that maybe giving him Defend Order, giving our, our Blastoise Defend Order would be fine. So Venusaur has defenses, base defense of 83, base special defense of 100. So 83 and 100, whereas Blastoise... Blastoise has a base defense of 100, special defense of 105. Okay. So, let's instead give Blastoise... Because he's got water... He's got Waterfall, Water Pulse, and Bite. Um, so, I don't think he needs Focus Blast. Especially because the things he's going to use fighting on... Uh, <clears throat> you know, water, water is perfect for that anyway, so... Let's... Let's go ahead and give Dressiel Defend Order in place of Skull Bash. And there's not really any need, any reason we would need Skull Bash except for the de for the defense boost. But Defend Order is going to give a defense boost anyways, and a special defense boost. And I think that is a lot better anyways. So. Alright, let's go over our items. We have a choice scarf that we could give to Chimera. But Chimera is already plenty fast. Um, let's actually give. Who has. Ah, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. We could give the... Chimera could have the Life Orb. And that way, we have a Choice Specs? Holy shit, how did I forget about that? Alright, so the Black Sludge, we're gonna give two Thickums. So that, uh, to get that health. Let's give... The sea incense to Drasil. Let's give the hard stone to Golem. Wise glasses boost special attacks. Um, <clears throat> we could give the wise glasses to Pure Fire. We still need something for Drift Blim, and we still need something for 
Chimera. I, I actually don't have anyone I want to give the choice backs. We did not use our fossils as uh, tokens either. Uh, I thought about it and never got around to it. Uh, we're going to give the life orb to Chimera because Chimera can put out good damage already. That life orb is going to make it even better. <sighs> but what about the expert belt? Cleanse tank. Damn it, that's the wrong item. We actually don't have an item to give to... Airhead. Like, we don't have anything that it would benefit from. I mean, I guess the Expert Belt, because it does have two super effective moves, but... Odd Incense, that boosts Psychic Types. <sighs> we might just have to give her the Expert Belt, because I... Don't lowers the foe's accuracy. You know what? Let's give her the expert belt just because it'll still be a little more damage output. Now, who should we start with? I think Thickums is going to be our go-to to start with, uh, just because Venusaur is great defenses all around. We can <clears throat> uh, get residual health and hopefully uh, get some Leech Seeds off. So let's go ahead and see what we have to sell. Uh, I know we had a couple nuggets in here. Um, let's get rid of the Power Anklet. Power belt. Uh, let's get rid of the friggin' quick powder. Wow! Five bucks a piece! Woo boy! Mmm! <clears throat> um. Get rid of the shed shell. We don't need that either. Get rid of the white flutes. I think I think that's about all we're gonna get rid of. Well, we'll keep the we'll keep the repels. Uh, do we have any? We got plenty of fresh waters. Uh, we probably should have got some more, but I'll just bite the bullet while we're here, and we'll just buy some. Well, no, we can fly. Um, do we have any? Let's get rid of the iron. We don't need that. HP up, we don't need that either. Max Revive can't do nothing with that. Revival Herb can't do nothing with that. So, we got some berries. Damn, Raditz is... I'm gonna have to check... I'm gonna have to check the stats on Raditz. I might have to, like, slightly change them. Because uh, I, I... King Piccolo is good. You, you've got about a 50-50 uh, win ratio against King Piccolo. But against Raditz, not so much. Uh, well, I mean, I guess I, that's... Not so much doesn't even... Yeah. Just any time that Raditz, you've had a battle Raditz. Oh, come on. Alright, let's speed this up. Alright, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That should give us thirty fresh waters. And that way, that way we know we're loaded up. Alright, so, we're gonna go back to Ingo Plateau. And when we get there, we will, we'll get, we'll get some hyper potions and we'll get some, um, some full heals as well. I want to make sure that we get everything we might need. I don't think we need max motion. Nobody has... Does anyone on our team have more than 200? Oh, wow. Airhead actually has 228. Woo! Yeah, we shouldn't need the max potion, though. We've got plenty of waters. Um... By 30 hyper potions... We'll buy... 27 full heal. You know what? We'll buy we'll buy ten full rest full restores just in case we get really in a pinch during a match. All right, guys, what do you think? You think we can do it? You think we got it? I don't know. Um, go over our team one more time. Black Sludge, we taught it Spore, Sea Incense, taught it Defend Order, Life Orb, Getting Spark, Expert Belt, Wise Glasses, and Hearthstone. Alright. We're gonna save just in case anything happens. <coughs> Guys. Uh, last thing we need is for, like, more power issues. Alright, let's do it. Yep, I know. I know, we can't go back. Who's gonna do it? Who's gonna do it? We're gonna do it! Ah! Versus Marshall. Schoolgirl Marshall. <laughs> oh, Fucking hello! Okay. Okay. Note to self. Everybody learn from my fucking mistake. Do not ever make fun of a man for his name. Or his title. Holy shit. Good thing we taught him Spore. Uh, we, we're gonna set up. We're setting up all on this ass. Oh, don't, speed up. Stop. That's the last fucking thing we need. Okay. What's he gonna have? Um, let's... Yeah, exactly, Bomb. Fucking motherfucker starts with a Rayquaza. Like, oh, haha, yeah. Make fun of me for being a schoolgirl. Schoolgirls will whoop your ass. I actually ran into one uh, during training uh, to get my team level up. Scared the crap out of me. Oh, crap, I woke up. Yeah, that resisted damage. It's only level 40, but it's still a fucking Rayquaza. And you know, when I shared this, 
I literally said, let's pray to Arceus for no legends. First motherfucking Pokemon. Combuskin. Alright, that's that's much more manageable. Let's get Chimera out there. Let's show off our beautiful shiny bitch. I didn't realize how much I actually liked Shiny Dodrio. It's got this really cool, like, Master Chief green color going. Between her high-ass attack stat and stab super effective plus the life orb, yeah, there's no way you're living that. Licky Licky? Um, who do we picky picky? Ah. <laughs> uh. Let's go with... Let's go with Purifier. I'm not going to be super picky about trying to get all of our our team leveled up at the same time like I am through normal playthrough. Uh, for this, I'm just kind of trying to go for what is the best Pokemon to take attacks. I thought about going with Airhead because it's a ghost type and Licky Licky just has a bunch of normal shit. But it misses anyways! This fat bitch is blind as shit! Probably can't see around that big ass fucking tongue hanging out of her mouth. And that fake ass Majin Buu horn coming out of its head. A Nitto King. Man, why do I gotta destroy a Nitto King? Come, that's just. Come on now. This is not fair. Um. Alright, just seals our best bet. Oh, I'm so mad we missed that our chance to get a Nitto King in this playthrough. That would have been so dumb. And granted, we missed a lot of pretty good encounters, but a Nitto King? He's only my second favorite purple Pokemon. Well, okay, that's if we're that's if we're counting. His last Pokemon's a Kakuna. Oh, is that real? I don't even know what should kill this. I actually don't even know what I should use to kill this. It's a fucking Kakuna. Wow. Well, I mean, I need a break after the Rayquaza scare. Uh, don't talk about Formidable when your last Pokemon's a Kakuna. Get out of here, Marshall. Alright, first battle down! <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe you had a fucking Rayquaza. Get out of my face. Uh, does anybody on our team need healed? Mmm... No, not really. You know what? That's being fucking stupid. Just give them a goddamn bottle of water. Even if it's for 12 points. Like, that makes all the difference. Are those the only two that took damage? Yep, looks like it. Ha ha, Koga, ha ha, Ninja, ha ha! Oh, I'm sorry. It's Mia now. Used to be a gym leader. Now it's schoolgirl Mia. <laughs> no, st no, stop. Don't make fun of their names. Look what happened last time. We're about to get our ass kicked by a Rayquaza. It's a lovely name, Mia. Oh, come on! This bitch gonna live on 2 HP. If I'd have went for Petal Dance, that would have never happened. Use the full restore. Son of a bitch. Come on, Thickums, get a crit. Get a high roll. I don't give a shit. Lived on two again. And then she just straight up withdrew into a Charmander. She got level 42 Charmander. She was like... Oh, but it's so adorable. I don't want to evolve it. I don't care if it's weak. So precious. It's a Charmander holding black sludge. What the fuck are you doing with your life? Hey, let's go to let's go to some some season one nostalgia. Golem versus Charmander. 
Who else remembers when Ash tried to use a Charmander on a Golem and it got chased around by a flaming Golem? We don't even have to do anything. This thing's killing itself with the Black Sludge. I am surprised that a level 42 Charmander is faster than a level 50 Golem, though. I mean, I realize it's Golem, but still. This is a, you know, fully evolved stage 3 versus... Ooh, a Weavile. Uh... Let's go Pure Fire. Should be a one shot. Yep, there was no way. Oh, the floatzel's back. So Venusaur wasn't fast enough to outspeed. So 108, 54, 90, 132, 97, 137. We'll just stay in with Pure Fire, and we'll one, we'll, we'll finish it off with. Uh, well, it doesn't matter what, really. I just didn't see it. I didn't see much point setting out different Pokemon if it's gonna get outsped and take some damage. Just didn't see the point. Especially when freaking schoolgirls are firing off damn Rayquazas like goddamn pom poms in a fucking cheerleading squadron competition. I'm playing these damn games. Ooh, this about to hurt. Was, was leveling up to 50 too much? Because I remember, like, a Teddy Ursa. Okay, uh-uh. I ain't playing no fucking games with no Teddy Ursa. Not this time. Because I did, I fucking underestimated a Teddy Ursa earlier. Like, uh, a couple weeks ago in the stream. And that motherfucker goddamn one-shot my... What was it? I think it was my Kadabra. I'm just gonna drill pack this bitch into oblivion. Get your baby Yogi Bear looking ass out of here. Ha ha, you're worth. Alright. We're doling out more water. Who needs it? Chimera for 12 HP. I think for our final battle, I think I'm going to put our team in order that we caught them in. That way they'll show up that way in the, uh... Oh, Bruno is Liliana. Alright. Schoolgirl Liliana. Sent out a motherfucking Suicune! Bitch, I didn't even make fun of your name this time! Ooh, we faster though. I told you I ain't playing no games. No games will be played. Sends out a Suicune. Okay, it woke up. Hold up, nap time is not over yet. You know, just once. Just once I would like a Suicune in the Neslog. Granted, in this Nuzlocke, it's illegal for me to use. So, how about we wait till my next one? But can I please get one? I think this I think this Nuzlocke is the third time I've got a friggin' Reiko. Oh, what is pedal dancing? Uh-uh. I'm playing no games with the Suicune. Yeah! They're basically just teasing me. Like, I've gotten Reiko, I've gotten, uh, let's see, Moltres and Articuno. Uh, ew, let's, yeah, let's go with Airhead. Because it 
Porygon Z tries to try attack any of my shit, we're, we're in trouble. I just thought about it. If this thing has fucking zap cannon. Used embargo? But yeah, they're just gonna tease me. I just wanna sweep him. Or, better yet, give me a Nuzlocke run where one of my starters is a sweep him. How did it hit me with a move when I'm flying? I realized it used lock on. Oh shit! It had a berry. All right, so I can't re—I can't risk staying in with Airhead. We're gonna have to go out to gold. Is the oh? Is the only thing I can really do? Sure, use lock on all you want. You can't hit me with electric type. If you can hit me with electric type using that shit, I'm gonna be pretty pissed. And yes, I realize I could have used earthquake, but it was at like a quarter HP. If it was at full HP, I'd have earthquake the fuck out of it. Primate? Okay, staying with the flying types. When the rock type's not good, we're gonna go out to. Chimera. I actually really love this thing. I didn't think I would. I actually didn't realize how good it's... Well, okay, it's got great stats for a sweeper. Base 100 speed, 110 attack. Like, woo! Armaldo, that's Bug Rock. Um, we're gonna go into Drasil. It lived! It flinched! <laughs> ah, she used the full restore. Fuck you, Bruno. That's alright, though. That's alright, though, because we now we know how much damage Waterfall is going to do. And you're gone. An unknown. An unknown. Wow. It's pretty disappointing what they did with unknown. Like I, I thought the uh, the concept was really cool, and the way they made them out to be in the in the third movie with Entei and all the unknown was really cool, but. Like, they just, you can't do anything. They don't do Jack in the, well, they, there's a couple unknown that have done stuff in the TCG. In the games, though, you can't use it for anything. All it gets is hidden power. And you just, you just can't do shit else. Airhead, get two bottles of water. Oh, that's actually not enough. That's alright, though. Airhead has more than enough HP. And Karen is just Pi. Or P. Uh, hello there. So that's... Huh. Yeah! How do you like that? Ooh, he didn't like that very much. She didn't like that. Ooh, stop! Damn it, I 
was hoping we'd get the, defense, the special defense drop. Oh, I wish we could have had a steel type. I wish we could have got a friggin' scissor on that route. They made for great training, though. Well, Garchomp made us use our first Hyper Potion. Ugh, that does so much damage! Come on, okay. Looks like we got 70 of you guys here tonight. Awesome! How are all of you doing? A sphere. Thickums, you better get in there and teach this little bitch. Pedal dance probably wasn't necessary, but... I'm taking no chances. A Registeel. Oh, no. Um... <sighs> what are the chances it's gonna have ex freaking explosion or self-destruct? Oh, that worries me. Because... We could, we could go into Golem, who can definitely take that, but Golem is not going to appreciate the Steel-type moves being used on it, whereas Purifier doesn't care about the Steel-type moves, but the explosion is going to hurt a lot more with uh, Typhlosion. Okay, so he, get, he actually gets Explosion at level up. Or at, like, birth, whatever. So he shouldn't have... might have like ancient power and superpower. But there should be no exploding. Yep, there's the ancient power. It's alright though. Why are you dragging this out? It's not necessary. A Cherim. And we'll just stay in. I want to use Chimera more, but I don't want to just keep wasting waters just to heal it for 12 HP. We'll definitely make sure Chimera gets gets a good hit or two in in the final battle against the champion, though. I wouldn't deny her that. A Caterpie! Alright, you know what? It's the last Pokemon that's a Caterpie! This is far from being backed into a corner. Alright, I don't know what nonsense you're spouting, but if this is not backed into a corner, I don't know what is. I mean, the Kakuna had a better chance of survival. Alright. Let's get our team rehydrated. And 
we're just going to use a Hyper Potion on our little airhead here. Alright, so let's let my OCD have some fun. I think... Did we get the Quilava before or after the Ivysaur? Ruins of Al Sprout Tower. Okay, so we got Quilava first. Um, Golem was the egg. Hatch in Zelia Town. Airhead was on Route 42. Which route was Route 42? Because War Turtle we caught with the fishing rod. I think... I think this is how it is. So, Typhlosion, Venusaur, Golem, Blastoise, Drifblim, Dodrio. So that's what we're going to rock out with. Let's go take on this champion! 